Introducing Madame Glam's Sixth Lust Anniversary Collection. It's our sixth anniversary. This calls for a sumptuous celebration. For the six years of love and care, of teaching each other how to live beautifully and being on this journey together, we created a one in a million collection. Sixth Lust Collection becomes a statement of how luxury can and should be sustainable. The 10 sparkly shades of Soak Off Gel, always vegan, cruelty-free, and nine-free, are carefully stored in a brand new bottle. To compromise was never the answer. So for our anniversary, we're taking you on a trip around the world, experiencing the finer things in life. Six years and counting, and today we celebrate what a gem we've become. Thank you. Hi guys. So today I'm going to swatch this beautiful collection for you. As you've seen, this is the Madame Glam's sixth anniversary collection. This is called Sixth Lust Collection. We have 10 gorgeous sparkly shades here. And I'm so honored and excited to be able to swatch these for you. They're absolutely stunning. Happy birthday, Madame Glam. You guys have just outdone yourself on this collection. First of all, the bottles are absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see, they've got this really pretty gold handle and the swatch in the top of it as they always do. And the label has the name on the front of it, not the bottom. And it's in like kind of a metallic sheen, similar to the shade of the polish inside. So that is really, really pretty. So I'm going to swatch them. And at the end, I'll do comparisons if I have any. I don't anticipate a lot of comparisons, but I think I might have a few. So without further ado, let's get swatching.
guys so that is all the swatches as always I do two coats and then I top coat off camera so these are gorgeous obviously some of them are a little bit more on the sheer side and some of them are a bit more opaque I think if you use them over a um, like a cover pink such as luminary or a cover pink acrylic that you're going to have pretty decent coverage um let me find one that's pretty sheer i really love this one. Oh, it's such a pretty color and i think if you put that over like a cover pink it would look amazing same with this one so i think you're going to get decent coverage out of these um oh gosh and then ruby slipper Oh, 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 the ruby slippers. This is stunning. I didn't think this would be my favorite, but you know what? I think it is. I bet you in the fall, this is going to be extremely popular. So pretty. And then uh, the caviar sparkle is also pretty opaque. The dark, these are the darker ones. So you're going to get a bit more coverage with those. Um, but yeah, let's do some comparisons and see if I've got anything in my collection that compares. Okay, I am just sifting through all of my colors to see if anything stands out. Um, I've got Ladylike, Bombshell, and Love is in the Air. These are a little bit of a different formula. Um, they're not as sparkly. They don't have as much glitter in it, but it's got like a metallic kind of shimmer to it. And I just wanted to compare the Saffron to Ladylike. Ladylike is in the middle. Um... No, it doesn't really compare. Ladylike is like a rose gold color. Saffron's a bit more coppery. And these are showing up very well on camera. They look very true to color. Wham bam, thank you glam. A lot lighter. Okay, I have some reds here. And I, I wanted to get chest to chest. One of my favorite red sparkles. It's like it lights up from the inside. It's so pretty. And compare ruby slippers to that so you can see the difference. So obviously this is a much deeper red. Um, leaning more towards burgundy than like a true bright red, but still gorgeous. Here is um, Shimmer Sexy Berry, one of my favorite fall shades. It's the one right here on the right. I think this one fits in pretty well with these. I do think this is going to be really pretty for fall, but also any time of year. I'm not one to just wear a color on my nails because it's in season. Like, I'll put black on in the summer, pink on in the winter. I don't care. <laughs> but, um, let's see. We've got Take Your Time compared to Ruby Slippers. Take Your Time has, like, a lot of different, like, fall shades in it, like golds, reds. Um, Shimmer Sexy Berry is just like a fine metallic. It doesn't really have that glitziness to it. And Golden Red, again, has a lot finer of a sparkle to it. So this one just, it's like, it shines like diamonds in the sky. <laughs> so pretty. Here are the newest uh, glitters that they came out with. And burlesque was their red in that one. Now these are like a holographic glitter. So there's the difference in those. This is just such a deep, beautiful red. I don't have anything that is identical to this or directly compares to it. So I want to grab the Caviar Sparkle and compare it with King's Choice. That's the first one I thought of. But King's Choice is a holographic sparkle as well. And the Caviar Sparkle is more of a silver glitter in it. Hopefully you can see the difference there. And it's just jam-packed with little glitters. I do have another black one. Let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. It's called Black Vista. I'm not sure if they still have this on the site. This is a pretty old one of mine. Um, and it is a black with like a silver sparkle through it but the chunks are a lot bigger so the caviar sparkle is a lot smaller but they are similar in shade you can just see how packed these are with shimmer very very pretty and um, let me see if i got anything else 
Um, I've got a really pretty gold here called It's Not You, It's Me. I'm just going to compare the vanilla to it. So you could see the difference. Um, this one is definitely more of a yellow gold and this is more of a champagne gold. So it's got more of that vanilla shade to it. Not quite as yellow gold as It's Not You, It's Me. So where is Shimmer White? So I'm going to compare Shimmer White to the Crystal Piano. And I know it's not going to be near sparkly. So, okay. So Shimmer White here on the right has that metallic kind of shimmer to it. And the Crystal Piano, again, with all the tiny, tiny glitters all throughout it. Um, it's not quite as a bright white. It's more of a toned down, muted off white. Close to ivory, you know, like your piano keys would be. But there's the comparison if you wanted to see that. There's Top It Swagget, Silver Magic, Paradise, and Stardust. Some of my favorite, like, silvery, champagne-y glitters. There's the Crystal Piano. Very different. So I think the main difference um, with this collection is how teeny tiny the little sparkles are in there and just how many of them there are. It's just jam-packed. And I just want to show you real quick a couple of these, like, um, more sheer shades swatched on my finger just so you can get an idea of what that looks like so this is the winston absolutely gorgeous it reminds me almost of a rosy like a rose gold but not quite more tan it's hard to describe but it's very pretty and i'm just going to swatch that over this cover pink gel that i have on my nails just to give you an idea of what these are gonna look like. Holy smokes. <laughs> that is really, really pretty. That is just one coat. So with two coats, you're gonna get really good color, really good coverage, and the most insane sparkle you have ever seen. Okay, and I'm gonna show you Wham Bam Thank You Glam. I love the shade, I love the name of it. So I just wiped off the other one show you this one just a nice thin coat like you would normally do and again with two coats of this you're going to get really good coverage over a cover pink um, if you're doing these on clear nails like a prey you will probably have a couple that are a little bit more sheer um, but that could be a really cool look if you're going for something like that again with two coats of this be absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna show you one more let's do the purple one I love this one the I think it's Antilia I don't know how to say it guys I'll have to look up how to pronounce that Ooh, yep I, this, this one might be my favorite oh my goodness oh wow that's so pretty so yep, again, two coats of that, be perfect. I'm torn between the Monroe and that one. This is kind of like a periwinkle blue. It's not like a blue blue, but it's got like a little bit of a purple undertone to it. I would call it like a periwinkle. Ooh, it's so pretty. I know I said one more, but now I just can't stop. <laughs> oh I love it oh, I don't know which one I like more hmm yep they're both very very pretty alright guys that is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thank you and happy anniversary to Madam Glam thank you for sending me this beautiful collection to swatch I love it I cannot wait to see what you guys have in store next so um, leave me a comment below guys let me know what your favorite color is from this collection and let me know if you have any ideas for manicures or designs to do with these colors I'd love to hear your feedback um, follow me on Instagram you'll see lots of 
the pictures there of my clients that I do and I'm sure I'm going to use these a lot on them so I'll probably be posting a lot of pictures on Instagram of manicures I do using these so at ginger sparks I'll pop it up on the screen here for you guys on Instagram also, Madam Glam uh, asked me to do a happy birthday theme manicure for the uh, collection for their sixth anniversary. So if you want to see that, um, it will also be posted on Instagram and I've got a video of how I created them. So I'm going to actually post that video here right after this video. So go check it out after you watch this one and I hope you like it. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.